Hey, how's it going? Stopping by here to get some Chinese food at the Hong Kong Express. And thought I'd stop by and say hello. Hey man, if you like these if you like these backgrounds, let me know. They're, I think they're pretty awesome. It says less light recommended on this one, but I'm outside, so this is what I got. Anyway, I was thinking today as I'm driving along way way early in the morning I started about 2 a.m. and I was thinking about how things work out where most of the time if not a hundred percent a big factor in whatever you're doing is going to come down to timing because there are just the right times to get things done for instance in the, on the large scale Bill Gates and Steve Jobs they wouldn't have been able to do the things they did except for the timing of what was going on in the culture, technology-wise, and so on. For instance, talking about Steve Jobs, you got to talk about Apple. And I was telling Arlette, she's the internet thug, that's Rocket's daughter. I, said, I told her, you'd love Apple had you been around 15 years ago or so because they were small. They were the little guys. They were the ones that were fighting the evils of the big corporation, Microsoft or whatever, and they whooped their freaking butt, if you ask me. But now, because of the timing, they're, oh, they're the big, ugly, gnarly corporation. And people have a bad view of them, some, because of that. When, when you're dealing with real estate, they always say the first rule of real estate is location, location, location. For instance, 100 years ago, if you could have bought some land in downtown Dallas or whatever, you'd have been sitting pretty today. I mean, you're, well, actually, you would, <laughs> your grandkids would be awesome because they'd have all the money that, that you accumulated because of the fact that you were there at the right time. So when you're looking at something to do and you're examining different businesses, it's key to notice as far as the market is concerned and as far as the company is concerned. Is it a mature market? Is it a young market? Has it been tried and tested? Or is it sort of brand new where not everybody's sure of it yet? It, are there many, many competitors? Is there a lot of competition, which is really good for a business, meaning there's a huge market for it and there's lots of room for lots of players, especially if they've got new ideas to bring to a mature market. Timing of everything. And a lot of times it'll come down to timing in your own life. Are you between jobs? Are you looking for something new? You got a little bit of money saved up, you plant closed down, and you're looking for something to continue on with. Doesn't matter whether it's your personal timing or if it's the market timing or if it's the company you want to get involved with timing. It all comes together and what, what you're looking for, if you can find one, is a perfect storm where the time is right for you whether you're sick and tired of the job or you've been out of work for a while or you just have some money saved up and you want to get something going on and you find a market that is mature with lots of competition and lots of people involved and new players coming in, that means the market's ripe for some new stuff to come in and then you start looking for a company and you find one that's past that awkward newbie stage and it's over four or five years old and when those three things come together and you have the company in the momentum phase and the timing for you personally is right and the market is looking good, you're in the sweet spot. So that's what I'm talking about today. When you're looking around, see if you can't find something. It's not a deal killer if all those things are not in alignment. Sometimes you get where you wait for your own alignment to catch up or, or a certain company whatever it is, just make sure that when you jump, you're as close to the sweet spot as possible. After that, just go wild. That's what I got for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.